spins energy. Hey, good evening and welcome to the uh, number four or five uh, spin snap, Skype. snap so Skype. <laughs> Have you been taking something? Uh, chicken? Uh, no, d duck. It was duck. <laughs> and uh, we had a nice Chinese, didn't we? Chinese, yeah. And um, but she didn't say thank you. Oh yeah. yeah. Uh, no. Um, Beer, a couple of beers. We did, Sing Sao and Tiger. We did some, we did some and filming, and which yeah. we can talk about it later. Yeah, absolutely. So the last time we met it was, and we did some filming, it was outside the Lord Clyde, which is a great pub, and we, we've been back there tonight after the filming. Yeah. And, and that time we actually um, were talking about the future release of Here Comes the Machines. <laughs> So what's the latest on that then? Well, uh, I think I've done all the vocals and I think all the band have done all the vocals. There might be just a little smidgen of recording due on that track. I, on Mon Tuesday, Tuesday this week, I did uh, the lead vocals and backing vocals for the B-side and there's just a little bit more backing vocals to go on that. Mm -hmm. and Possibly, uh, uh, you know, treat it, treat it a bit, and then um, it's ready to send off. Well, send off. We're going to send off the A side to be mixed by um, the guy who mixed City of Eyes, cool. Link Ray, and then. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I've been doing a lot of talking today, um, <laughs> and then um, uh, the B side will be sorted, and then as soon as we've got the master, we can make CDs and send off for the vinyl, which wow. we were hoping to get ready for Rebellion. We're not sure we can get ready for the Rebellion when we play there on the 6th of August on the Saturday night in the Opera House room. Very nice. And then um, I'm also doing an interview at around 6 o'clock in the Opera House. I don't know why, it's still a 40 of punk, whether we weren't, you know, what were we doing at the time? Yeah. It's sort of like a and a Q&A. Probably people will say, oh, what did you do? We well, keep changing your name. You know, so <laughs> maybe you. it's that sort of thing will happen. Have you got an hour? Uh, yeah. I'm not at sure. At least. There's not time for that. Um, <laughs> so they, uh, we do that. and um, So we'll... hopefully it's going to be out September. If we can accelerate the uh, manufacturing process, we will like to get it down for Undercover, which we're doing in September, oh, nice. which is Mick Moriarty's uh, uh, Brighton, isn't fourth, it? fourth, this year it's at the Brighton Racecourse. Cool. Uh, in September 10, I think it is, off the top of my head. Hope I haven't got that wrong, otherwise Mick will be giving me emails. Um, <laughs> then there's, um, on our next London show, is September 20th, which is part of the 40th anniversary of punk rock. We're playing the 100 Club, where the first punk festival took place in uh, in the 100 Club in 1976, which is brilliant years ago. Who, who was on that, that show? What, back then? That the original? Well, there was Sex Pistols, there was the Susie, the Bad Sheets, there was all sorts. You, you, right. You just Google it. Right, okay. <laughs> cool. I was in Birmingham at the time. I got there a year later. So. Moving back again, you've got rave reviews for the Camden show, which you had. Uh, summer, annual summer party, yes, at uh, the Dublin Castle, uh, yes. And how, how did that go? Well, it sold out. It, it was wow. full. They mm. couldn't let any more in. Uh, the, it was, we had good weather, so it was very hot. It, the sweat <laughs> was poured. The band took their tops off. I, Due to, le <laughs> due to legal reasons, I have to I have to leave my shirt on. But the, the rest of the band all, all, all went topless halfway through the show. They're, they're all fit, the lads, aren't they? Well, luckily, uh, yeah. There's this. Uh, Someone told me, you know. Yes, yeah, so, so so the ladies say yes. So that's right. Yeah. They were, so, yeah. They were actually topless at the at the Wakefield show, weren't they? Like, you um, know, it's the bright lights. It, once it gets them going, uh, they can't uh, stop themselves. And that was a winter gig, wasn't it? it well, it was February. Yeah, it was, yeah. Probably, it was winter. Yeah. So what, and the, your objective is always to improve upon each gig. That must be difficult, must not it? Yeah, well, the advent of mobile phones, you know, yeah. if you do a bad gig or a good gig, you know, it's up on YouTube or Facebook or other social media. And uh, I'm 
you have to make sure you're doing the top of your game. And if you, you see, hang on, that, that can be, I like it, I can, it's good for analysing. If someone's posted a video yeah. and I thought, hang on, no, I should have I should done that bit better. Yeah. And it, it can up your game, but it should up your game, and that's what should be. It was actually on uh, the TV uh, today, uh, on the Channel 5's The Right Stuff, they said, should, should f mobile phones be banned at concerts? Well, yeah, maybe in a the theatre, mm. when someone's trying to do a performance of the greatest art in the world. But <laughs> I don't mind. I like, you know, I don't, you know, I also like, as you do, I like light. So yeah. it's just another beam of light coming my way, you know. Absolutely. But on that note, I think we have to look at the, the latest Spiz technology, don't we? Oh, ah! And, th and, th and this. I'm not wearing them. These are the these are the dates. Oh right. Okay. So I, I I was wearing them earlier. These are no, these are what I call my normal shiny shoes. Okay. Yeah, but the, the what you were talking about the lighty up ones. Yeah, well they're they're for sh they're for show. <laughs> What's this? this? This is just for going out and about. Oh, okay. Okay. So have you got um, a bigger shoe cupboard than uh, Imelda? Ah. Uh, Funny you should say that. The missus says that I am the Imelda Marcus of punk rock. <laughs> I, I, I actually do think I have more shoes than she does. Oh, she's got more handbags than me. Well, that's right. But yeah. I got more shoes. That's right. And yeah. I've been to several friends of actually houses recently, and they've also got a lot of shoes. I don't think the problem. What, what are you going on about? Why pick on me? I know. Well, I'm the same. I'm, I'm a winky, winky man, uh, winkle pickers. But uh, uh, I'm glad you added the pickers bit. I don't know if people don't know <laughs> what you were talking about. <laughs> Get me winkies out. But uh, so that that was that was Camden. You've got, as you said, you've got Rebellion coming up, 40 years. How many, how many, how many times have you played Rebellion? Uh, this will be our fourth time. We did the first one yeah. in 96. Did you? Yeah, wow. and then we did uh, two, three, four years ago and two years ago. And now this year. So it's obviously yeah, changed over the years. What, what kind of changes have you seen? Uh, slicker, professional. Yeah. Uh, Was it always Russell that, that ran it from day one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, wow. I suppose it's like um, Glastonbury, isn't it? The, you no, know, the team it's not like Glastonbury. No, I know, but you know, in terms of... Team, they've got a team, they've got a team, and, but it's, it's um, you know... It's organic with Rebellion, isn't it? It's, but it's also a genre that some of us can get on a, a general rock festival. Yeah. But this is where all the punk bands can possibly be on a festival. Yeah. And that's nice because it's knocks like back it's non punk bands, doesn't it? What? The, 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 which is they had the Boomtown fun. Rats on, which aren't really a punk rock band. They were, and they not they anyway, like, they? Some people poo pooed that. But, you know, fair enough. Uh, if it brought an, an extra new lot of crowd in, yeah. uh, well, well, it's no big. Well, you know, might he, like him or, or hate him, he, he certainly created as a publicity, promote, didn't he? As a promoter, that show. As a pro I've sometimes self promoted. You know, you know, you can't just. I can't just have all my favourite bands on it. I need to have a band that might bring in 50 to 100 people different. You know, yeah, yeah. what's the point of it all being the same show? Yeah, I loved them in, in, back in the day, but um, I'm, not, I'm not sure what they're like now. I need to lubricate my uh, speaking voice. Well, that's right. And what are you drinking? Oh. Oh, uh, cider. Water. <laughs> Water, yeah. Well, I've, I've blown your cover then. Uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Maybe so, I'll get you sponsored. So Blackpool, what do you think of it? It's at the end of the road. Uh, no, what? It's a, are you able to get a are you able to get a hotel. Yeah, no. Um, the thing is, there's lots and lots and lots of bed and breakfasts. Oh, there quite is, yeah. budget, which are great, because so, there's all those people who go there for uh, stag nights and yeah, nights. yeah. Full Providing you book early, you can you can get a good deal. Okay. But then. You don't know if you're doing the Friday night or the Saturday night. So I've actually booked a hotel and I tried to cancel the Friday night because now we're not doing the Friday. Yeah. Uh, and it said I couldn't. So then I researched just today mm. and found a hotel cheaper. <whistles> booked Mr. it. Mr. Google. Booked it and then um, cancelled the other one. Okay. But no uh, loss of... Uh, £40 pound cheaper. Wow. Well. But we could probably have to get a taxi from the air, uh, airport, no, uh, the station. Mm. So, uh, yeah. Excellent. So uh, that'll be good, 40th show. And uh, you've been all over social media. You've um, you've had your bucket list ticked a few times recently. You went to Germany. 
Yeah, I went to Germany to see Guy. Uh, Guy came oh. over to surprise me, which he should have told me because I could have then put it. Was him that a surprise? Was it Guy Giardini? Yeah, yeah, he just uh, he, he did he didn't he told he told, he said oh this is going to be a great gig. I wish I could be there. On Facebook, very funny. Good idea. So, uh, and, and then he just because you you wanted to surprise a couple of other people, so and he, he came did. to the Camden show. So, but I just came off my bike, just beating the rain, to go and do the show. And so I was a bit exhausted when he and I, I, I sort of didn't give him the full on. Oh God, hello. Yeah, I can't. So uh, I just walked in, but he said, "Oh, that's great." Oh. Anyway, he months ago invited me over there for a, a splendid weekend and. Um, but he lost his passport, long story short. Uh, okay. He got a new one uh, two days later, which could have been a day later, but they didn't tell him. Anyway, so he flew back in time for me, picked me up from the airport to take him to his place. Because I'd never been on a horse before. Yeah. So he had a horse ride. I'd never been in a two seated airplane before, and his father in law got an airplane. So we had a bit of a, a, bit of a gas, and uh, then we went to the pub where there was no one there. Unusual. On that particular night, because they're all waiting to, for the next night, which was Germany football match. What they so, say? They saved up to go to watch the match. No, what happened was um, get get the laptop out, and he plugs it in, and he gets YouTube up on the big screen, and uh, pick a song. All right, like so, uh, so we had a, yeah, he, he DJ'd, but it was only me, him, and the governor, and two other people, and the staff. Uh, there. Right. Anyway, next night was Germany versus Italy. Yeah, uh, which was. Obviously, I, I, I was I was split down the middle. But Germany won on penalties in the end. Uh, but I saw, I saw what it's like to be in a room with a load of Germans uh, watching a penalty shootout. It seemed quite <laughs> relaxed because they think they're going to win it, and they did. Well, of course, yeah. <laughs> and did you think they were going to win it? I did. Well, uh, by that time of night, I was a bit ambivalent. <laughs> I didn't care. Yeah. The, I saw that photograph of you on a horse with Guy looking chuffed with himself, and I thought that must be photoshopped. No, that was real. No, uh, his, his missus is very good with the camera. Got quite a big lens on it, and um, and we were laughing and that, uh, and he yeah took a photo. So the, what we did Photoshop is to make it a good black and white print for the t-shirt because he yeah. does he's the. Uh, his, his business is Rebel in Print. He does lots of punk t-shirts, which I'm not wearing tonight, but yeah. He does, yeah. Um, yeah he does Tom Duncan Tom. Reed, he does Menace, he does... Uh, does the Durellas, doesn't he? he? Yeah, he's done the Durellas, and I think he did... Uh, he's done some... Department S, he's done the Department S, yeah. Brilliant. He yeah. is the, 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 the quality, t-shirt man to go to in the punk world. Quality, quality shirts as well. Don't shrink in the wash, etc. Hashtag... Jardine Guy, the man. on Instagram. Yeah. So since yeah. I last saw you, I've I've gone big on Instagram, and I'm climbing every uh, five, ten people a day, nearly. Right. Or a week. More, you, more like a you week. You hashtag everything, don't you? Well, that's see when you hashtag on Instagram, if 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 someone says, "Oh, that's a nice picture," oh, he's hashtag Spiz Energy. So you click on Spiz Energy, and on all your hashtags. Right. Or other people's hashtags mm. with Spiz Energy and goes into the file. And you can do that with Facebook as well. So when you post so, something on Instagram, I see a lot of hashtags on a photograph. Yeah. You did that in Instagram, but yeah. it just transfers over but automatically. You, there's a button that says, where do you want to publish this? Oh, okay. And you can publish it. Well, I've got, I don't have some of the, I don't have a Flickr account, so I, yeah. but I have a, a Twitter account. And I have a Facebook account. Oh, right, so you yeah. just press the buttons, and instead of you putting up the photograph in three different, it goes in one go. Wow. So you go to Instagram first, mm. and then you can ping it to both of them. Cool. You can you ping it to ping it, but I don't have a ping it account. <laughs> we, we've had a few selfies tonight, haven't we? Well, what, have we what have we been up to tonight? Well, we went around uh, doing uh, my art. art uh, Film for next year's uh, project that I can't talk about. Okay, um, we can't tell you where it is going to be. Uh, but um, this year, the, it's international, isn't it? This year is the theme is a short film up to three minutes long. So I've made this sort of like tension poem mm. that has to that becomes a rhythm, and you'll see, you'll see it when it's finished. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so we went. 
we went to the Shard, we went to London Bridge to get Tower Bridge in the background, then mm -hmm. we went to uh, uh, Borough Market and then we went to a uh, interesting place uh, on Southwark something road, I think Southwark Road or something. Is that where the, um, the, 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 the Southwark with the prostitutes? And then, we've, then, then on the way back, just I, I just took you like I've taken many people to the pros prostitutes graveyard yeah, because they weren't allowed in the Victorian times to be buried on church ground, so they had to have their own graveyard. So all the Hoxton, mm. Shoreditch prostitute, or, or any, anywhere, yeah, were buried yeah. there, and they tried to redevelop it a few years back, and there was a campaign to save it, and it's all quite nice. Saved it, yeah, no, amazing, amazing. So looking forward to producing that uh, film with you. Uh, so it's uh, it's been a good night. So, future plans apart from what we discussed? Uh, uh, Christmas. <laughs> yeah, we like that. Yeah, absolutely. It'd be Christmas by then, and then um, something else might get come up our way. We've yeah. got we, we've been invited to join a festival. The name of it escapes me because I've never heard of it, but I've got it on my phone somewhere. And we're looking at it. We're already looking at May twenty seventeen. Wow, for gigs. If we're still here. <laughs> Looking on the bright side, yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, I have to say, I've, I've learned tonight that uh, Spiz Energy is a uh, health guru, apart from the, the water that he drinks. Um, he's got a Fitbit. The colours water, yeah. He's got his Fitbit, which is, uh, is there, and uh, he's got a very low heart rate. You'll be pleased to know. Yeah, I'm like, uh, Dave, what's that name? That, that long distance runner that never won a medal, but he was kept breaking world records. David. Bedford. Bedford. Yeah, yeah, well done. Yeah, I'm old enough. Oh, so he kept, he kept, he kept breaking records in it. But then in the Olympics or some European Championship, somebody would beat him. Isn't it? Wasn't it his image that that firm was at the? Yeah, uh, but he had a low heart rate. I remember that he had a really low heart. Did he? Yeah. yeah. Well, most athletes should, shouldn't they? I don't know. Yeah. You tell me. Well, he his image didn't he sue the company? Was it uh, where you? Like they used to be director inquiries, and they always got these adverts, and there's the two runners, and they had the big mustaches. That oh, one and one, has he sued them? Yeah, he sued them, yeah. Did he win? He basically stole his image, yeah. Did he win? Yeah, cool. It was a few years ago, yeah, good on him. They're well, still using the advert, though, that's why they got the permission to carry well, on. Well, they, I think they've changed it, haven't they? They've, they've morphed Cause it. They had a, yeah, because yeah, they had a big big well, in, yeah. So maybe they got rid of that bit to get legal. But, uh, yeah, and you've done an amazing amount of steps today. How many? Why do you ask me these questions? Ninety. Twenty thousand. Wow. Five hundred and thirty-four. Yeah, mate. Amazing. I've probably done about a hundred. So well done. Keep me all healthy and uh, good to see you, my man. And uh, look forward to the next one. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>